beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Elite and I assist you in your ascension. Today we're going to be speaking about my family and my key guides, the Guardians. Now, the Guardians are also who I refer to as the Giants of Light. They are ancient elders who once upon a time walked upon this earth. They sometimes go by the name the Guardians of Gaia or the Guardians of Light. But they reside predominantly in the next universe. They reside multidimensionally in this universe, but they have ascended through all of the dimensions within this universe and onto the next universe. And this is the universe I speak about quite a bit on this channel. It is the universe that Gaia, our planet, is returning to, is ascending to, because it is where she is from originally before she fell into the great abyss, the void of time earlier on in the galactic year cycle. But the Guardians, they are upon the new Earth, and they were once upon a time upon this planet, Gaia. But the remains of the Giants of Light, of the Guardians, can be found all around the Earth, underneath what so many humans know as mountains or hills. These are actually the remains of the gigantic kingdoms of light. But what happened earlier on in the galactic year, as Gaia, the spirit of the Earth, our planet, fell into the Great Abyss, there was this tear within the Great Akash and two parallel universes were formed. You have the New Earth, which is also an ancient, divine, celestial Earth, or the Kingdoms of Light, and then you also have this Earth here, which we are currently in, the part of the Earth that fell into the dimensions of time and space. And so now we as a planet are returning to this ancient, future, parallel universe. The divine kingdoms of light and these are the kingdoms that jesus spoke of these are the times that we are now in where our universes are aligning and a huge gateway is opening as gaia ascends but this is a huge multi-dimensional shift in consciousness it is the ascension beyond the dimensions of time and space where we are literally moving into the kingdoms of light and there will come a time where there will be a breakaway point and the denser aspects of the earth will be left it will fall into the great abyss and we will ascend with Gaia fully and there will be this breakaway point and divine times will be forever and ever upon the earth once and for all and so many of the guardians they were around in ancient times you can understand them as the gods of ancient Egypt also the gods of ancient India and there were other gods and goddesses of different cultures as well they were the giants of light they were those who were here before the humanity and also in the beginning of the humanity, assisting the humanity in the early phases of our human evolution. Now, they are returning to the planet because Gaia, our planet, is returning to the divine kingdoms of light where they reside. So it's like these two universes collide and merge. And so these are really beautiful times, but a big key here to assist in integrating this awareness is the awakening to the giants of light because they are here and they are coexisting in this ancient future parallel universe the new earth this is the new earth and so as we bring our awareness there we greater integrate the new earth consciousness now something key to remember and this is a lesson from our past is that they are guardians not gods or goddesses in ancient Egypt and something that we see in, in India as well, there's been a lot of confusion that unfolded and humans began to worship these beings as gods or goddesses as like the one god. However, all of the guardians across the different cultures, they are extensions of the one initial source. There is really only one god and all of these guardians, they are an extension and expression of the initial source, which is both within but beyond all expressions. That is the benevolence of the source, is it is beyond all expressions. And this is what is so very important as we awaken to assist us in remaining humble because what happened in Atlantis is there was those who wanted to become more powerful than God. And as a result, we fell into the time-space reality, the third and fourth dimension where we have been focused ever since. And so this is an important lesson to remember because for us to ascend, for us to return to the new earth, the gardens of Eden, we must remember the source and that we are expressions of the source, extensions of the source, 
but the source is greater than all because it is both within and beyond all. We speak of ascension, but really what is key to remember is it is an inward process. But something interesting to consider here, and it is a huge topic, so maybe a whole video within itself, is the inner earth. And so, one of the ways I understand the inner earth, if you've heard about Shambhala or Agatha or Telos, the different enlightened civilizations that the humanity has been recorded to be in contact with throughout history. It is widely believed by researchers today that these civilizations exist inside of the planet. What I believe is they are a parallel timeline, the ascended earth that coexists here on the spirit of Gaia. And people who end up in those worlds have literally shifted into a multiverse. And they are inside of the planet because those higher dimensions are inside of ourselves, where a big key in moving into 5D is to remember, this is a multi-dimensional shift in consciousness. We are becoming multi-dimensional beings. My awakening to the Guardians began in 2016, where I had my first astral experience with the Guardians in 2017. And ever since, they have taken it in turns to appear to me and share different information with me but they would like for me to communicate with you that they are returning, that they are already here. It's just a matter of how much we're allowing ourselves to integrate and experience the earth that they are currently on. But something important to understand is Gaia, the spirit of our earth, coexists in a parallel ancient future universe to this one. And this is where we are returning to. So the same spirit of Gaia coexists multidimensionally in this parallel universe of new earth that we are in essence returning to that we are ascending to that we are merging with this is why gaia is one of the greatest teachers for the ascension because quite literally she beholds the keys into the new earth one of the greatest ways to connect and integrate the new earth and your multi-dimensional expressions is through connecting with gaia through connecting with the planet through taking time in nature and immersing yourself with the spirit of the earth. My soul is from the ancient future parallel universe to this one, which is why I am here bridging and anchoring the codes of this ancient parallel future universe. It is also why the guardians are my team, are my family, and why I'm bridging them to you, because that is where my soul resides, where I am their ambassador. And so because they existed here upon the earth, they have access to these multi-dimensional expressions all the way into a whole nother universe. So what they can do and what they are doing now is they are coming down into the lower density expressions of themselves. Now, their lower density expressions of themselves have a much more solid form, such as, for example, let's look at the ancient Egyptian gods and goddesses. These are the ones I connect to very deeply. Let's take Thoth, for example. Thoth, he has a very solid form in how we as humans understand him. But faith, as we move into the higher dimensions, moves beyond physical form, moves beyond physicality, moves beyond form. And many of the beings, they look more like clusters of energy beyond the seventh dimension they move into, like, it's like clusters of energy. We actually depicted one in the Divine Women's teaser, where they look like clusters of energy. And this is something that continues into the next universal consciousness. So they are more energy, they are more universal, it is more unified, the very nature of form isn't how we understand it here in the third and fourth dimension, so in the time-space reality. So it is a huge shift to integrate. And this is why they're great guides through these times, because they are existing multidimensionally across all of the dimensions within this universe and onto the next one. And for this reason, they can take on different forms because they're communicating to us in different density expressions of themselves. And this can assist us in awakening multi-dimensionally. And so what I am showing is the guardians are here. There'll be those that begin to see them more clearly, often those who I facilitate healing for or activations for. They have reported encountering certain guardians that I work with. So they come with my energy. You may find them after interacting with my channel or after listening to some of the light language that I share or you may already be receiving contacts with them which is why we have connected in this way maybe this is the first time you're ever watching some of the content that I share 
and this is a synchronistic message for you because you're already in communication with them. Maybe you're looking for some answers. And this is an answer to your questions. I know if you've been following me for some time, you will have heard me speak of them before. If you study admit school, we speak about them also because the school, it is their school and just the channel for their teachings through the school. And so one of the assignments they gave me back in 2017 is to draw them, to visualize them. But they said, we need a new look. So if you see me drawing them, that is because they've given me this assignment where I'm here to visually bridge them with you as well as communicate them vocally too. And so if you hear me speaking about them moving forward, now you will know a bit more about who they are and what their mission is here on the earth. Well, they are ultimately here to assist in elevating human consciousness and in reminding us of the source and of our connection to the source, where as we grow within our consciousness, as we expand our consciousness, we also grow within our bodies. And this is something that is directly connected to the galactic year cycle and also the great year cycle. There are different cycles at hand where depending on the cycle depends on how tall we grow. But the great year cycle, we grow a certain amount, but the galactic year cycle, we grow gigantically. And we are entering into a new phase of the galactic year cycle as well as the great year cycle. But the galactic year cycle, we are entering into a phase where we have never been before. And this is the return to the divine kingdoms of light for eternity. So these are really beautiful times that are before us. And of course, it's gonna take some time. I'm sharing the gateway of 100 to 1,000 to 100,000 years for us to truly integrate the new earth kingdoms of light. And that gateway is a multi-dimensional gateway, which is why there are three numbers. There are different gateways to pass through, but this is a multi-dimensional shift in consciousness. We are moving beyond the dimensions of time and space. And it is a huge shift to integrate because quite literally, the nature of time is changing. We are moving from a linear perspective on the nature of reality into a non-linear perspective on the nature of reality. It is a multi-dimensional shift in consciousness we are experiencing as a planet as we merge with the divine kingdoms of light, which is one of the reasons why we created the School of Creation to assist you through this process. But if you would like assistance or support through your ascension, I invite you over to the school where we guide you in your ascension process and in becoming a multi-dimensional being. So that's just a little introduction to my family, my guides, the guardians. I'm sending much love from my heart to yours all the way around the world. And I look forward to connecting with you soon. I am E, a light for you to see. We are Lahuma, Alasuma, Umaya, Ahuma.